What's going on, everybody? This is Al. And in the last Dynasty video, we took on Utah State. They were having a terrible season. We had more talent than they did, but none of that mattered. We played terrible. They played great. And somehow, somehow, we came out with a three-point victory in double overtime. Just a crazy game. A lot of goofy things happen. The good thing is we got the win. And if you notice, we are finally ranked for the first time this season. We're 25th in the country. 8-2, and two, we've won two in a row, and today we're taking on a non-conference opponent in Buffalo. They're having an awful year. They are actually, they were 1-7 and seven at one point, and they've won two in a row, but this situation looks no different than the Utah State game, except Utah State really done some damage to us, but if you look here at their stats, they don't do anything well, absolutely nothing. Hopefully we could play a lot better today than we did against Utah State. Now, just looking at some of our stats, we're finally the number one passing attack in the country. And, of course, our total defense has always been high, but that's a little misleading. But either way, let's finish this strong. Now, the reason why I scheduled this game was for recruiting purposes. We had to throw another game in there, and normally towards the end of the season you have prospects ready to come in to visit. And unfortunately, if you go to recruiting, and we looked at some of this at the end of the last video, we're down to three guys. We did finally pick up a couple commitments, one from the corner, Martin Hickman, and then Sean McCargo, two bruiser halfbacks. And unfortunately, you look at the three that we have left, they still can't trim it down to their top three. So that means we're not going to be able to host any of these three, which also means there's a very good chance we won't get any of them. So here is my thinking. You, get, In order to get these guys to commit, it just makes all the difference in the world if you get them to come visit to a home game. But if you go back to our schedule, we literally have one left. This is our senior day. Then we're going to number four, Georgia Tech. It is so hard to get these guys to commit if they are not going to come to visit to a, an actual game. So what we're going to do is, you see this guy right here, David Billings? I think it's going to be hard for us to overcome USC. If we was able to host him for a game, I think we would have a chance. But I don't think we're going to be able to. So I'm going to go ahead and cut my losses and just take the points off of him. And now we're down to a center. Looks like we're in a decent shape here. We're at least at the top of his list. And we got a positive pitch. So we also have this deep at the tackle. If I can open him up here. We don't know what he likes, but we're at the top of his list. Now, I can either go 50-50 for both, which I'm going to try that for now and just see what happens. And we'll worry about this next week or whenever they're ready to visit. If that's the case, if for whatever reason I don't feel like we have a chance of getting this guy, I'm going to put all my points into this one just because we got a positive pitch. I think we have a real chance of getting him. I think we got a chance of getting both. As long as we stay at number one for this guy. But it's still going to be hard to get either one of them to commit because, again, they're not going to be able to come to a game. So we're going to monitor this here in a couple of games and here in a couple of weeks and see how this goes. Now, let's go back to our, our schedule really quick. I just posted a few hours ago an update on what I'm going to do with the dynasty in terms of coming with my next dynasty. Now, this also means i got to do something with this one. I've decided I'm going to keep this thing going. If you notice and we've talked about this in the previous video, we will, it looks like we're not going to be able to win the conference. It's still possible. Fresno State has Nevada to play today. There's a chance they can get beat by Nevada. If that happens, we're going to win the WAC. But I also want to end this season or this dynasty strong for several reasons. And this is one of them. And the other one is I've been wanting to try to get to the Pac-10 that's been my goal for this entire dynasty. I want to get to the Pac-10, and I think we can with Washington State keeps playing terribly. They're still a three-star program. They're going to drop down to a two. I'm going to try to force myself to go into the Pac-10. Otherwise, we're going to be in the whack for at least another more season, and if that's the case, then maybe that's just what we'll do. In other words, I am not going to end this dynasty on this particular season. There's still too much stuff I want to do. And another thing I want to show you, and I forgot to show this last game or last uh, video, was if you go to our rosters and Tyler Gronk, let's look at some stats here. 
He has almost 12,000 yards, and we still have three games to go this season. He's putting up crazy numbers, and I'm hoping he comes back next season. If he does, I'm really going to shatter some records, at least some school records. So keep that number in your mind, 11,924, 95 touchdowns, all of that stuff. Okay, keep that in your mind. And we're going to go over to my NCAA, and we're going to go to the record book. We're going to go to the school records, and we're going to look at the passing. Now, Gronk has already got the single-game passing yards. In terms of a season, I think he's going to pass that this year. We're only like 500 yards away. He could probably get that today if he plays well enough. So I think he's going to break that one. The career ones, when I'm interested in, I thought Timmy Chang had a lot more yards than that, but he's got a total of 14,000. I think I'm going to pass that with flying colors. We are really close to what, how many, what, just like 3,000 yards? Two, 3,000 yards from that? We will pass that next season if he comes back. I really hope he does. If he wants to leave early, I'm going to really try to persuade him to come back just for selfish reasons because it's so hard to break a record like that. Passing touchdowns in the game, that may be pretty hard. Uh, I may get lucky and do that one day. But touchdowns in a career, he's got 98. Timmy Chang does. I got what? What did I say earlier? 94, 95. We're going to break that either today or in the next game. So I'm really excited about what Gronk can do. But I like the idea of him getting every single one of these, or at least the very important ones. So let's talk about the dynasty records. And let's look at individual season uh, for passing. Houston, 54 touchdown passes. That's going to be hard for me to get. I think I could get close one day if I really forced it. But what I want to look at, it may not be from here. Uh, passing uh, passing yards, 58. I don't know if I could ever touch that. I've gotten close once. That was just once, but I really forced it. I want to look at individual career. Passing touchdowns, 134. I think I can break that. Graham Harrell done that in this particular dynasty. Because if you notice, everything is built off your profile. And at least I'm pretty sure it is. I could be wrong. Big, uh I could be wrong on there. Anyway, I think I have a chance to break that. This is the record I was thinking of. Timmy Chang. Okay, so somehow it says the passing yards of career is 17,000 yards. Yet when we went back and looked at the school record, it only said 14,000. I don't know what happened there. Either way, I don't know if I can get there. I'm like 6,000 yards or like 5,000 yards off. It'll be close. I'd have to play super well next season. He'd have to play every game, get 40, 500 yards, and I may have a chance. All of that is to say is we're definitely coming back next season. Hopefully Gronk will come back and maybe I can break all these kinds of records. Okay, having said all that, let's go back to Sports Illustrated. Bowl rankings, we're in the top 25, but we're not going to be on this list. We're too far down. Heisman Watch, we can check this really quick. That doesn't affect us, as you can tell. Awards, finalists, we've already made it to the finalist list. Gronk made the final three for the Maxwell. He's number two for the quarterback award. We, I was going to look at receiver. I want to see how close Davis got. He had a bad game in our previous game, so it didn't shock me. He went down a little bit. Where should be up for the quarterback award or the coach award. Groza Kelly is number two. A lot of that has to do with the extra points, just a ton of them. Uh, coach, we did, we got outside the top five. We still may sneak in. It's still possible that you can do that. But I just wanted you to check those out. Bowl projections, it was real cool last season. We did not have to go to the NPC Computers Bowl. We went somewhere else. It was random. But... As of now, it looks like we may be playing Florida State, but that really doesn't mean anything because there's still a lot of games left to be played. Now let's go back to conference standings and check out our team info screen. Look who's back. Number 19, old Washington, is going to play today. So that's going to be pretty exciting for him to be out there. I'll have to look at the formation subs and make sure all that looks correct. But all the stat line looks pretty similar to what we've seen all season. Now let's go over to Buffalo. Let's see what we're dealing with here. They got a bunch of players out, two offensive linemen, a middle linebacker. Looks like they got a quarterback that's doing okay. Skill players, not so much. None of that does say, says a whole lot to me. They did beat Kent State pretty badly, though, in their previous game. Uh, we need to talk about, again, the Pac-10. 
Cross your fingers. Hopefully, it won't be too hard for me to get invited to the Pac-10. If that happens, this dynasty is going to go on for quite a while. This may be the dynasty I can use where I can really just churn out like a bunch of championships and such. What well, stuff I've been referencing to um, as of late in the community posts. What we're going to do now is we're going to play the game. But before we do that, we play at 8 o'clock. Fresno State Nevada plays at 12.30. So we are going to simulate the week up to our game. And we're going to come back and see what happened with Fresno State. We're going to find out really quick if we're going to win the championship or not. Uh, let's see. It looks like somebody's in trouble. Our strong safety is in trouble. What in the world did he do? Uh Oliver interrupted our position meeting again by showing up 30 minutes late. This sets a bad example to the other guys on the team. That really boosted our interest meter, too. Before I punish him, let's go back. And Fresno State won. So there you go. They have won the conference championship. Unfortunately, we did not. That's another reason why I don't want to end the dynasty. I don't. I want to end every dynasty on a high note, winning a team championship of some sort. Looks like we're not going to win anything this year. So that just gives me more reason to keep this thing going. So I wanted you to see that. Now, I want to go back to our roster. I want to see with Oliver, are, are we okay at strong safety? He is going to be out today, but we got a couple backups behind him. I think we're going to be okay. I'm going to suspend him for today. We're going to do that for just one game because I need him for the Georgia Tech game. So we'll do it for one game. And let's do the all green. Or the green and black, I should say. Let's do that. Okay. That was a lot of long-winded stuff. I wanted to show you a bunch of things before we got into the game. If we didn't play Georgia Tech the next week, I would have suspended Oliver there as well just to bring down that team interest bar. That's our first guy that got in trouble this year. Okay. Rocking the blue suit today. Looks like we're going to have good weather. Yeah. Oh, look at the wind. Oh, my gosh. Hopefully that doesn't affect us much today. 34 miles an hour. We're ready to bring another incredible matchup as the season starts to wind down. So the kicks are going to be interesting today as well. Yeah, those are good looking uniforms. I like those. Have a little more green to it. Tyler Gronk. Hopefully he comes back next season. We can really shatter some records with that guy. Stays healthy, all that good stuff. Again, we still got three games left this season, so he's going to break a couple of them by the end of the season. And they're picking us as expected. Hopefully we play a much better game today than we did against Utah State. Ooh, okay, so the win, we're going to go kick. I want the ball in the second half. And they're going to defend it that way, which is okay. So let's check out uh, formation subs. Now, I have, let me look here. So Washington is back. I need to put, I wonder what will happen. I may leave him right there. I think Larson's done a good job. I think I'm going to just leave him as he is. I think Larson's done a good job being our shotgun halfback with a lot of that stuff. Plus, we can audible to our runs and such with him. So I think I'm going to just leave it as he is. Yeah, I, I think I'm okay with that. One thing I do want to check is my strong safety situation. I want Brian over Anderson. He's got He's much faster. So I'm okay with all of that. All right. Let's check out Buffalo. Starting quarterback, he is slow. He can't run. We can go after him, but his backup can run a little bit. So hopefully this guy, this guy doesn't get in trouble or get hurt or anything, get benched. Halfback starter is okay, 82 overall, 85 speed, not very strong. Just okay at fullback. Looks like they got a really good wide receiver, like maybe the best wide receiver in their conference. 92 overall, that's pretty impressive for a small team like Buffalo. Then you got 80, 76. Some decent sized guys too. 6'2", 6'3", 6'3", 6'2". Tight end, 80 overall, not bad, but he's not very fast and he's just okay at catching. So he's more of a blocking tight end. So they don't have a whole lot on offense. 
but I think everything's going to try to go through this guy, so that's his, but they're probably going to pass a little bit more today. Look at the offensive line. They got a right tackle playing left. 74, 72. This guy's out, but his backup is better. This guy's out, then it's a real drop-off for them. Then right tackles at 76. Their offensive line isn't very good. That guy is humongous. 6'9", 346 pounds. Gee whiz. Redshirt senior. Okay, I think they run a 4-3 defense. It's been a while since I played them. I'm pretty sure that's what they do. Now, they got an impact guy right there, but he's a 72 overall. 72 there, 80 and 78. Not bad at defensive tackle, at least with their starters. Linebackers. Top middle linebackers out for the year. Backup is about the same player, though. Just their front seven looks really bad. Corners, 76 and 72. Just a big drop-off for them. They just are not recruiting well. This guy's pretty good. He's a a preseason first-team all-conference player as a true freshman. He's now a sophomore. So good for him. He's still just really slow, though. 82 overall. Uh, 82 speed, I should say. Strong safety, 80 overall. Impact kicker. So we got two impact kickers. I wish we could get that off of Kelly, but it looks like it's not going to happen. And a really good punter. So at least their special teams looks pretty solid. Okay, I think I've seen enough. Let's get this show on the road. Now, the ki the wind is going in that direction. Man. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And that's going to go perfect kick, technically. It's get in the end zone. I think we're going to do a lot of zone today. I'm just assuming they're going to throw quite a bit. Watch them running right at the gut first thing, though. Oh, they're going to pass. Thankfully, he overthrew it. He was wide open. I didn't get over there quick enough. Uh, we can do a zone blitz. Looks like they got a hanging tight end. Let's see if I can get to this guy quick. QB draw. It's a good play call. Face mask. That's another five yards tacked onto that at least. Second and short. They're doing that. We can do another zone bleed. That's a different version. I'm going to go right here. See if I can control the A gap. That's good defense. I think he got the first, though. Yeah, he got the first. Let's go quarters at a 3 4. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 30. Buffalo comes to the line with three wide. Drops back to pass. He stepped up. Looks. Just another bad throw. That gives me a little hope that they're going to really struggle getting down the field today. They're going with a bigger set. I guess we'll do the same thing. Good defense. Corner got in front of it, so it's third and ten. We can do cloud for the first time today. And let's see if we can get to the quarterback. Yeah, that right tackle is a behemoth. Intercept that. He got right in front of it. Good job by Moss. Ended up being a decent throw, but I had a defender just sitting right there waiting on it. It was super close. Had to go right where I needed to be. Except I had somebody sitting right there. So we're in the middle of the field. What we can do, I need to make my one adjustment. We'll go four wide receiver there. Let's start off with a screen. We're going man 4-3. Let me go over here. Pick up a few yards with Ferguson. And if for some reason I feel like I can't hear when I'm... I got a max to 100. I'm going to boost this up a little bit. I don't know if this will help you all, but we'll try it. Okay. 
let's go with halfback angle. We're going zone. Now you see where we got Washington? We got him at tight end. That's going to be a nightmare for some teams. Good throw to Larson. Pick up the first there. Hole over the middle. Above my center. That's why I call it the center beater. Easy yards. We're still in the left hash. We, let's go curls. We're going zone nickel. I can hot route Washington over the middle just in case. That's good defense by the corner. You see over here, Davis got caught up on the guy. I just, bad luck. We still got some yards out of it, though. So it is second and seven. Let's go to tight end delay. Man, 4-3. I would keep this simple. And we'll just probably go to Larson here. Ooh, terrible play. Good coverage. Don't know what happened there. Maybe I brought him over. Either way, I shouldn't have went to him. That's my fault. So where are we? It is third and eight. We could try a deep attack. We're going man. They're blitzing both inside guys. I need to get the first down, so I'm going to go six points to you-know-who. Good for him. First catch since he's been out for like over two months. Perfect throw, and he gets a touchdown out of it. He may get my thumbnail for the day just because that's his first game back and for and so long. Let me see if I can create a decent one right here. Do something like this. Back out a little bit. That's not bad right there. Maybe he can catch it. Something like that looks pretty cool. Good for him. So that's a good start. I'm glad they went man. That helped me. I, I mean, if they would have went zone, I was going to go to him anyways. But I needed the extra yards. And that out route by Ferguson wasn't going to get it done. I probably could have resorted to a curl. Curl routes work fine in this game. They're, it's just very picky on how good it is. The timing's got to be good. Otherwise, they can get picked off and such. Please go to that side. Yeah, there we go. Going to knock that out of the stadium. They are doing that. Let's do a zone blitz out of 3-4. Let's control this guy. Oh, that was a big test for my backup strong safety, and he just got beat by a better player. So that's a good matchup for them. Going up against my biggest weakness today, which is my strong safety, matching him up with their best player and their wide receiver. Ooh, I bet I could have picked that off. I wasn't expecting it to be that close to me. Second and ten. We can go quarters out of nickel. Let's do this. Have like a little five-man front. Good defense, Al. So what happened here? Probably a holding. Yep, yeah, it's going to be a hold. Is it by Bergio? Nope, by somebody else. Sega. Yeah, well, we got to go with the second and 20. Get him out of field goal range at least. They got a really good kicker. He's an impact guy after all. We'll stick with the same play. We'll do the same thing. Looks like we're going back to gun spread. Wide open over the middle. I might make a play over there. Overthrew it, thankfully. Double team, but you can't ask for a better situation right there. All right, we'll go cloud. Ooh, I wasn't expecting him to go too wide there. This fullback may pick me up on the blitz. He's going to. We'll just back up in coverage. He's got all day to throw. Oh, my gosh. 
What a play. I should have kept going after the guy. That's my fault. I kind of blame myself on that. I, that's, I should have just kept going after him. I shouldn't have backed down the coverage. Well, that got him back in it a little bit. It's tied it back up, so we are going to get the ball back and see if we can get that lead back again. Wow, he jacked that one up. <laughs> Oops. Shank? Okay. Let's get back on offense. Try to redeem ourselves. Of course, our offense done great that first go round. Now, this is going to go. Ooh, we may have a chance here. Let's see what happens. So, Davis is now a backup. Yeah, because Washington is back. I forgot about that. Everything's all new again with Washington back in the lineup. For the going man nickel, we can look at our matchups. Looks like we got a good matchup from Washington on that guy right there. Let's see if Washington can make a play. <laughs> good for you, son. Good for you. Making plays out there. That was the nickel going up against Argo being my best receiver. So that was a good matchup for us. Let's go back the triangle. Oh, we actually haven't called this yet. They're going zone. I think I may run this. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. We'll go to the right. I'm a little worried about this defensive end. Get a few yards by Scruggs. Not too bad. Let's go five wide. Let's go zig outs. We're going zone nickel. I'm going to have G. Mullen do that. <laughs> that was all kinds of bad right there. That should have been picked off. Let's go tight end streaks. We're going man. Ooh, now I got washed as my number one guy. Why do I have him set up as such? And not Davis. What's going on here? That's a formation sub. I must not have. Mm, I don't know what to think about that. Let's leave him over there and see what happens. Oh, yeah, we can score six points. That's fine. Okay, so today is Washington's day to shine. That wasn't really planned, but that's just kind of the way it worked out. I'm surprised. See, that must have been a previous formation sub where I had him over there. That must have been a beginning of the season thing. I don't remember. Either way, good to see number 19 in good form. I'm not worried about the defense. I think they just had a good fluke play that it was more or less my fault for not going after the guy like I should have. So we'll get back on defense and try to redeem ourselves there. We're still in the first quarter, so I'm going to boot this thing as hard as I can. That should still go in the end zone. Yep. Kiss a bath. Four wide. We'll just go back to quarters at a nickel. We're doing a good job of getting them in third and long. We just have to convert a little bit better on the third down. That was a terrible throw. Guy was just sitting there. So it helps that the quarterback, he's only had one good throw. And that was the big touchdown throw from earlier. Good job by Kamaka, or however you say his name. He just kind of stood there. Those, if you notice, we'll go back and look at that. A little teaching moment here. You notice these two guys right here kind of got tangled. I don't know what happened, to be honest. He kind of threw it right when they was crossing each other, and they got stuck. So I think that's what happened. More so, I think we just got lucky there. We'll take it. So we're back on the right hash. Let's go. Let's go double wide receiver screen. We're going zone nickel. We'll just bounce this over to. It looks like it's going to be Washington again. No, good defense. And he got caught up. Just not a very good throw. He got stuck. So we are on the right hash steal. Let's try halfback out. Zone dime. I think I'm going to leave it as is because we need the yards. 
Dang it. I had to get it off. Left tackle got annihilated here. And that's technically not jump to snap. If it was jump to snap, he would have got beat like as soon as he got like right there. But that's neither here nor there. Third and 12. I guess we got no choice but to go back to deep attack. They're going man. They're at least going one high. That right nickel's blitzing, as you see right there. Let's just go to Rackley, see if we get a chance. Ah, overthrew it. We're on the 31. Let's pick a different play. Let's go. Tiny cross. They're going man. I'm going to try to go to Ferguson here. Ah, just... Not the best throw, but it looks like we're getting lucky here. They're going to throw a pass interference call. Ha! <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> it helps to be lucky, I guess. I didn't really see it. Let's go back to that screen. We're going man nickel. Make sure I've done that correctly, and I did. Ended up being a not the best throw in the world. Thankfully, he caught it. We're on the six-yard line. Let's go. Let's go, Curls. We're going man, thankfully. We can do a little pick action. We're going to go to Larson over here. Ah, what in the world? That's your fault, Larson. You didn't turn around and look. Third and inches. Let's play this smart and go slam. They are a 3-4 team, apparently. Let's see if we can just cut up right here. Good deal. Just get the first down be done with it. And let's just call the same thing. Now they're going 4-3. Maybe they're multiple. <laughs> Ooh, they're doing that. So we're going to go to the left again. There we go. Go up the B gap, get the touchdown. So we stretched the lead a bit. One thing I can do, turn up the volume on my end. At least I can hear it a little bit better. Okay, let's get an extra point, and then we'll get back on defense. Crazy, we're still in the first quarter. Up two scores, 15 to be exact on the points. Like, this has been a really long quarter, but a good quarter. We're playing well. Thankfully, it's going deep. That guy's not going to return it. Bro. We'll just stay in quarters. I don't think this quarterback can beat it. He's done a terrible job so far other than that. One big play. I get the play. That's my fault. I was out of position. Thankfully, they didn't get much out of it. Second and eight. I'm going to try zone blitz. Uh, let's go. Just not. Let's do this fire too. See what this does. I'm going to go right here. Hopefully we don't get torched too bad on this one. Thankfully it was a bad throw. So this quarterback just isn't very good. I say that and watch him throw a big bomb right here for a perfect pass or something, but we're going to try to stop him. Nickel defense. I got, I'm going up against two guys right here. This may not be a good move. Ah, oh, good play call. Good play call. Look at that. Wasn't expecting that. Now, that is the weak wide trips screen. I love this play. It just doesn't really fit what we do personnel-wise, but just a good play call. Good for them. That may be the last play of the quarter. They may get this one off. First and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. Three wide outs to the right side. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get through there. I guess that is a sack. So that is, what, second and ten, maybe? I don't think he even lost the yardage. 
We're up 15, headed to the second quarter. Yeah, he ended up losing a couple. Not a big fan of our 3-4 going up against this formation. Hopefully they will throw it. Everybody's pointing. Ah. Ah, completely goofed that one up. Good call. Just good run. Right up the gut. Again, that's one of my big fears with the 3-4. We're just going to get eaten alive up the middle. Of course, I went with a soft coverage, too. So next season will be interesting when I go full-blown 3-4. I'll finally have the roster to do it. We'll take that. And a face mask go with it. Nope, they're not going to call it. Got a player hurt. Don't know who he was throwing to there. Let's see what happens on this play. A lot of stuff happened. We'll go back. Play action. He threw it quick. That's just a good pickup by Bryant or other or number two corner. The pressure got to him. So where are we? We are on kind of the middle of the field. Let's just go with a back to that double wide receiver screen. They're going man this time. Let's see if we can pull this off. I love it when we go man. Or when the defense goes man against this play. Ah, it's not a very good throw. He got stuck. If he'd have got turned around to the left, that could have been six points. I mean, he had some room to work with. Let's go curl read. They're going man to blitz and everybody. I'm going to go back to Washington again. They're... Can you get there? Just enough. That wind is not helping things, but his speed got him there. I don't know if you really noticed that. The slower the wide receiver is, the harder it is for him to get where he needs to go unless the throw is really good. Thankfully, that worked out. Go triangle on this one. We're going zone dime. So one of our defensive players is after the game. That's not terrible. Let's go back to our run play. They're giving us the look. Or they can just stop it perfectly. Right hash again. Let's go. Well, we could go back to hot end streaks. This is going to go back to Washington. I mean, it's just his day. That's what they're giving us. Good throw. Get the first down. Just enough. Did they give it to us? Yes, okay. It's fixing and say. I didn't think they were. Let's go. Tight end delay. We're going to do this from the right hash. I've been working on some things. Now, they're going man here, so this is not going to make a difference. But We'll go to somebody on the left. They're bringing everybody. Let's see it. Oh, okay. Good deal. That's <laughs> Thankfully, the corner couldn't handle that. You throw it up high enough, it's going to be really hard for that corner to get it. All right, good deal. So Gronk is having a pretty good day. Got the stretch to lead a bit. So we'll get back on defense, try to stop him again. I think he is now, if you go back and look at our stats, he's got three touchdowns. I think he's one away from tying it. I think he came in with 94. He's up to 97. One more, he'll tie the school record for most touchdowns in a career. And that's quite impressive for just three seasons. Now, this is going to be a short kick because of the wind. But that's good coverage. Back to defense we go. We'll go back to quarters from 3-4. Halfback draw. Ah, just good pickup. My goodness. Somebody picked me up. I think it was the left guard that got me. Just right there. Just enough. 
That's still a big worry of mine. Just all those gaping holes right there. If I would have ran man, it, it could have been a little bit different. I, I'm just not sure. I picked the wrong play. That's okay. We can still make this work, I think. Went with like a fire two look. Slightly overthrown. Second and ten. We're going with a big set. We'll do the same thing. Please don't. I'm afraid of a hard run to the right. They may get a good chance of getting some yards, but we're going to throw that one. It ended up being a good throw. I think he hit him around right the hands and he just dropped it. Third and long. That's what you want. If Utah State's quarterback was playing with this team, we would be in trouble defensively. Oh, so close. And he still made the catch. Oh, wow. Almost got the sack. Free safety, just didn't play it well. We'll go back to his own blitz. So their passing game is just doing just enough to kind of keep them in it. Lost some yards there. They're doing that. Ah, we can do another zone blitz. One thing I can try to do is I can control the tackle. Still couldn't get the pressure, though. Good throw. Found the stick route with the tight end. So it is third and three. I'm going to do cover two man. I wasn't expecting goal line. It said they was going too wide. Well, no wonder they're going to get easy yards. I could have swore it said they went too wide. So that was misleading. I hate when that happens. Let's see if I can help out. Ah, perfect play call. Ah, perfect play call. Toss to the opposite side of the blitz. Now they're getting creative. It's second down and five to go. Ball on the 13-yard line. The D-line shifts over. Let's go right here. Hey, he still got some yards out of that. I over-pursued. I got in front of him. Third and two. I'll just stick with the same play. We can do this. Play action. He still caught it. I'll be. Ah, what do you do about that? We're going to go for two. How in the world did he get that? Just a one-on-one -on -one situation with the linebacker. Ah, he just, Jones played it badly. Let's go man lock. Buffalo lines up in a goal line set. He drops back. He unloads it. Thank the Lord he made a bad throw. So we're up 16. We got a minute 53 to go. We can at least try to get one more touchdown before half. Right now our defense is getting blitzed a little bit. And they're getting their butts handed to them. Middle of the field. Let's we'll see if Davis can do something up the middle. Normally can't. They got more yards than we do. We can do deep cross up. Haven't called that any today. Zone dime, we'll just leave it as is. Let's see if we can really attack him right here. Perfect throw. Ah, didn't mean to do that. Very fortunate we didn't fumble it there. That's a good play, though. Right hash. Oh, uh, let's go. It's on my mind. And then it's first down, so we got it down to play with. Let's go corner strike. Let's do a little run and shoot. An actual shoot concept, more or less. They're going man here. Uh, let's just do this. Ah, just 
slightly threw it behind him. Second and ten. Let's go halfback out. Zone down. Big play to Ferguson. Had some room and time to make the throw. They went cover two. Ended up being a good throw to little number two. Let's go tight end delay. Zone. We can do that. Uh, we can make a couple of adjustments. He got tipped. Second and ten. Let's go halfback angle. I was hoping it was going to go man, but they're going to go zone here. Yeah, just good defense. He was sitting right there on it. Third and seven. We'll go tight end cross. Zone dime. We'll stretch everybody so we can get Ferguson over the middle, hopefully. Perfect throw. Good throw. Good job, Ferguson. Good job, Gronk. 44 seconds. We can milk this for a little bit. Let's do a screen. And they're going zone. That's good. So let's milk a little clock. And let's see if we can get... Looks like Washington back in the end zone again. Get it down to a couple seconds. Good job. There it is. He did have 95. He broke the record. 99 touchdowns. All time for the school in one, in one career. That's great. And he still has a full season to go plus two more games. So I may be able to really shatter that record. Now, I already forgot what the overall record was. What was it? 150 something? I may be able to do that, but I might have to throw a ton of touchdowns next year. Either way, cool to see that. I'm glad you got to see one of those big records broken, especially at a school that has a lot of lofty passing records. It's very hard to get the career numbers because you got to have a guy that's got to been in there for like at least three years, if not four. So it's good that you're able to see that. It doesn't happen too often. Chop block or block or whatever they call it, clipping. We will go to, eh, let's try. Let's do a run play or a, a man. Let's see if we can just plug. I'm assuming they're going to run it here. That's a good stop. And that's going to be the last play of the quarter, more than likely. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own thirteen. Okay, good deal. That was a fun first half, a lot longer than I expected. It just maybe there's just a ton of points, a lot of stoppages, perhaps. But thirty-five to twelve, we could check out some stats. Offensively, we're doing our thing. The passing game's going well. We're not running the ball a whole lot like we normally do, anyways. Uh, both teams are doing really good on third down. Like, they're doing better than us. The biggest thing is the turnovers. They're turn they're too many interceptions for them is what's keeping us, you know, having that big stretch lead. I do want to check out, again, Gronk is having a great day. 276 yards, four touchdowns, no interceptions. Just, a, I mean, a killer game. And we just have a small enough lead to where we can do a little bit more for a couple more drives before we set them for the next game. Washington, good to have him back. It wasn't planned, but it's just kind of worked out that where he's getting a lot of the touches, the yards, and the touchdowns. So pretty cool to see that. And guess what? We get the ball start the second half. Buffalo will be kicking off to start the second half. All it takes is Buffalo to keep scoring a time or two, and our first string will stay in there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, so close. Good try. Now he's up to 200 yards of total offense. We are on the left hash. Let's reward that guy. 
Let's go back to halfback angle. And it'll go in zone. Which is fine. Just get a few yards with Davis. We can stay here. Go back to tight end delay. We're going to zone this one. Make a few adjustments. Get a first down with Washington. Just a big hole over the middle, right above the center. I saw the two linebackers split. And they're running cover three. A lot of people think when there's a hole over the middle, they automatically think it's cover four. But there's various blitzes from various formations that will have that middle of the field open like that. Or at least above your center. Good pickup for a first down. We are still in the left hash. Let's go curls. They're going man four three here. Don't know who's on who. Let's do this. We'll go to Larson. Fumble. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> go back and look at that. None of this made any sense. I guess it was a perfect fumble in terms of the way it landed. Uh, okay, well, that's fine. We're very fortunate. I didn't mean to do no huddle. Dang it. Uh, because we've done that, let's just run the ball. Uh, what, they're going like 5-2. Didn't get the first, though. Eh, I better call a timeout. None of that's, that's not going to work. Let's play this safely. Let's go offensive line. We're going zone dime. Oh, gosh. Uh, let's give it to our best player. Pick up the first that way. That was a smart play. Back on the right hash. Let's go uh, slot corners. We haven't got the call this today. And they're going zone. They always call zone when I call this play. We can give G. Mullen a better center beater. Defensive end just stood there and waited on it. Thankfully, he didn't intercept it. Right hash again. Let's go zig outs. Man, nickel. We can do... Uh, yeah, let's just do something like that. Get some of the yards back. It is, what, third and six? We're on the 31. It may be time... This is kind of two down territory for us anyway, so I'm not going to be too upset if we don't get it the first down now. Make a couple of... Ah, that, yeah, that's right. If you're a tight end, you can have him go into a block. Get the first down. Ah, oh, he didn't. I can't back in. Dang it. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I'm going to call that same play just to give us a, a zig out. Okay, they're going man, so we should be able to get a first down here. I would imagine. Oh, yeah. Easy first. Woo, just enough. I did not want to go for a field goal there. Good play there, and it's first and goal. We can go double wide receiver screen. We're going man. Let's see if we can make this work this time. The last time we went against man, they beat it pretty badly. Went a very good throw. Much better. That's what we want to say. Didn't get the block by Ferguson, though. On the five. Right, let's just go slim. We're doing that. We're going to go to our right. Number nine is in the zone and to make a play. Good deal. Okay. We can let our offense go probably one more drive before we set everybody. We'll see what Buffalo does on this drive right here. If they score again, that may give me the excuse to keep the first string back out there. And that's another thing. Think how many times I've benched Gronk, you know, sent out the second or the first string. So our second string can play. So that, those are other missed opportunities. So depending on your offense, you can really chase some 
records in this game. Running, throwing, it doesn't matter. It, I think it all could be done. Back the defense we go. Let's do a... Yeah, let's do quarters. That's fine. They're starting to run the ball a little bit more than I expected. Oh, he, oh, my safety goofed up on that one. Or the corner. He stopped. Did you notice that? He stopped. Right there. He stopped. He turned around. Why did he turn around? Oh, just a bad play right there by Bryant. I think he could have made a play if he didn't turn around like that. First and ten. Ball on the 21 yard line. I'm going to try something here. Oh, they picked it up. Intercept that. Good defense. Uh, we can go fire two or crash two out of three, four. I don't know if this is going to work or not. We'll see. That's decent stop. Went with a basic run, so it's what third and six. We can try cloud. We're getting to the point where cloud is not going to be as useful since we're getting close to the end zone. I hope I'm not off sides. Good throw! Wow, good play. Just a perfect throw, right where it needed to be. Right, a little soft area of cover three, I guess. So I wonder what play they called. They are in ace tight. So what happened here? We went cover three. Cover three, usually your hash marks is a good little weak spot. Because you see right there and you see right here is a bit of a weak spot for cover three. And this is a different type of cover three. But either way, I'm just kind of curious to see how they was able to get him open. Interesting. Okay, well, that gives us the excuse to keep the first string out there. I mean, we still got a dominant lead. But we can pad a few more stats. And he missed it again. <laughs> I thought he was a good kicker. Wasn't he like an impact kicker? So our secondary is having a tough go of it. Our our two safeties are are basically our weak points of the defense. We had to bench our starting free safety with another guy just because he was struggling and what do you do? Okay, first down. Let's go. Oh, I'm going to go right here. There's a play. I always forget that I have this play. I always use this formation for goal line purposes. Let's go tight end corner. We're going zone dime, which is fine, but I'm going to go to Ferguson here. Ah, overshot it. He was wide open, too. So much for that play. Let's go tight end streaks. We're going man. Let's do this. Ah, just slightly threw it behind him. So what is a third and ten? We'll go deep attack. We're going man. Let's see who's on who. I would, I'd prefer to go to Washington here. Good defense. He got in front of it. The corner who's on Washington. You notice right here. He got in front of the ball. Good coverage. Since they went cover one, I wonder if I... One thing I could have done was this safety. I need to use my teleprompter. I always forget to use it. That guy was over here. I don't think he had a chance to get over here. He probably could have. Had. Who knows? There's a lot of if ands, or buts there. Uh, let's just go ahead and punt it. Bad drive there. Nothing worked. Let's see if our big freshman punter can really boot this thing. Wow, well, look at that punt. That's a punt and a half right there. The wind helped. Field position. First down. 
These weak formations make it a little harder for me to blitz the way I want to. Ah, dang it. That's all my fault. Oh, look at this. That's all my fault. I should have let the computer handle him. They're doing that. I'm going to do quarters. I'm no longer going to do that blitz, and it hasn't really worked today. Good job, Al. Get in front of it. Second and ten. Let's do quarters out of 4-3. We haven't got to call that today. So the quarterback's not... He hasn't played terribly? I mean, he's got three touchdown passes, so he's doing something right. All right. Third and seven. He's been destroying my cloud coverage all day, but we'll call it again. I don't know if Foster can make a play here. He's not as good as our starter. Or they can go off tackle. That's fine. You do what you got to do. And you can go ahead and you punt it. I was not expecting that play call. Thankfully, he ran right into me. Let's see if Washington can create some magic here. That's a punt and a half. I probably should have just fair caught that, but that's okay. Left hash. I want to go back if we can. Uh, no, I better not. I was going to do that double wide receiver screen, but that hasn't worked all that well. So they're going man here. He's doing that. Our matchup is this guy right here. Can Washington get it? They went cover zero. I had no choice. Always take what the defense gives you. And that was the matchup we wanted right there. Good throw. We're in the middle of the field. We're going zone. I'm going to try to get this playoff before the quarter ends. I hope he didn't get hurt right there. He didn't. Good deal. <laughs> he got hit. Okay, this will be the last drive for the first string, but I'm going to let them finish it out. Let's go. I have a play in mind. Let's go corner combo. We're going man. So this should be interesting. We're going to have Rackley do that just in case. Terrible. Uh, yeah, he was shocked. Triple coverage. I was covered. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, that didn't work. Third and four. Let's go halfback out. They're going man. First time they called man against this today. This will go to Davis. Good throw. Good throw. Get some good yardage there. With the orange visor. We're on the left hash again. We're on the 17. I don't think we're going to have enough room for this, but we'll go back to angle. We're going man, but again, they may go cover zero, and I may not have the room to do it, but we'll see what happens. Okay, they're going cover one. Not the best throw. Get up north. Get vertical. We are on in the middle of the field. We can try to screen. Zone dime. It did not work last time. That's a little bit better. We didn't get the first, though. Let's go. Third and one. Let's give ourselves some options. Let's go right here. Let's go curl read. Zone nickel. We'll go to our best player. Terrible throw. I'm going to call the same play. I want to see. I want to see him get a, another record or two. Just pan the stats a little bit. We're going right back to Ferguson. Hopefully, he can make a better throw. A little bit better, and we're going to get the touchdown. Again, I normally don't chase stats, but for there, I didn't want him to lose another touchdown opportunity. Much better throw. Get up the field. Six points.
now let's go ahead and do mass subs for everybody. Well, kick an extra point ended up being a perfect kick in terms of the kick meter. And from here on out, I'll run clock. There's no need for us to hurry things up or anything. And this is going to go to the other side. Strong kick, though. He's going to return it. Let's hopefully we can avoid something big right here. Oh, good defense. Let's do cover two man out of three, four. We should have the bodies for it, except a defensive end. Ugh. It's not very good a defensive end. That 44 is probably not even a defensive end. I had to go over and make the play. So what happens if we go, oh, they're going nickel or four high or four wide receivers. Let's try nickel man. Oh, uh, yeah, we're really weak at defensive end. I don't know what happened there. We're fine everywhere else. Oh, that's right. We got a guy hurt. Oh, look at this play. Good call. I was not. That was my fault. We went cover two man, and I was covering down low. That's all my fault. I really butchered that one. I'll stay and do what I'm supposed to be doing. Stay up here. Offense got six the last time they were inside the 20. Let's see what they do here. Back to pass. He throws it. And it's caught. Good open field tackle by Lau. They get a one yard loss on that one. We'll just keep it very basic. I, this is a good way for me to practice my man coverage. The bull. Line up with four wide outs. Drops back to pass. Steps up. Looks. He's going right. It's dropped. Thankfully, he dropped it. So it is what third and eleven. We'll go back to cover two man. Third I always enjoy controlling a safety. I'm just not very good at it. At times, I can. Sometimes I can get interceptions. Sometimes I'll give up a touchdown. Ah, oh, good throw. I had. Who do I defend? I either defend the flag route or the go route from the halfback. And that's an intangible that gives him the edge. We'll get back here. And we're going to get the ball back. Hopefully we can recover this onside kick. Kudos to Buffalo. They threw the ball fairly well today. When the quarterback has time, he can make his plays. Let that one go. Let it bounce. Get out of bounds. Thank you. So we are on the right hash. We'll go triangle. I haven't got to call this a ton today. Good little throw to Larson. They're leaving the middle open quite a bit today. Gives us a different look. Let's do curl flats from spread. We don't normally call this, but we're going to try it. We're going to let him do a curl route. They're going man, unless they go cover zero, but we may try that with Ferguson or something. We're going to run a little clock, though. Curls are just a little more riskier than in 06 than they are in 07. They're, I, I don't want to use the word cheese, but they're very effective. Like, they just never get stopped. Overthrew that one big time. Third and two. We'll go Crow Reed. They're going man, so we'll see if he can just pick up the first going to Washington on the left. The clock has stopped. Good throw. Get some yards there. Do a little old school run and shoot. Stay under center a little bit more. Let's go corners. We're going zone dime. I'm going to still throw. We're going to see if we can connect one of these shallow routes. Get it down to a couple seconds. We'll more than likely go to the guy on the right, whoever that is. It's going to be G. Mullen. 
I almost thought they went, looked like they went man right there. Good pickup, though. Let's go back to curl flats. We can still do some round adjustments. That's one thing about the hot routes I like. It works really well with the run and shoot because they're option routes. You can treat them as such. Unfortunately, there are no option routes in this game. I don't think there are in any of the PS2 games, if I'm not mistaken. So, I, like I said, yeah, they're going zone. Just making sure. No, go back over there. Just get up the field and get a first. What else do we have in here? Uh, let's do safety draw. We're going man. One thing I can try is something like this. Get Washington. Since he's got the grass to work with, we'll do an out route with him. I'm kind of liking this. This whole the hot route stuff I'm loving. I know they're going cover zero, but let's do another short round. Just get some completions in. Run a little more clock. We can stay here. What else do we have? We haven't called cross all season. A little bit of a long developing play. Let's go quick slants. Zone dime. We can have something like this. We can go to Bess or Ferguson. We can go ahead and snap it. Intercepted. Ah, dang it. That was... My curl got stuck again. That's not Brennan's fault. My wide receiver, the curl got stuck on the guy. So when that happens, I practically just... I guess I just need to go to somebody else. I should have went to this guy right here. So he was wide open. And they went basic cover too. That's who I should have went to. That's my fault. That's not on Brennan. So I hate that his last throw of the day is going to be an interception. In the grand scheme of things, it doesn't matter. That stinks either way. So next time I see that, I'll just go to my outlet to the halfback and be done with it. Good throw to their best receiver. They're going to try to make something out of this. We'll keep a cover two man the rest of the way. Their quarterbacks will end up with like over 300 plus yards at least. Which is, that actually makes me feel pretty good. I've talked about this several times. Ah, good throw. Defender didn't play that right, but that ended up being a good throw. But what I was getting at is quarterbacks just, they play better in this game than they do like in games like 07. I've done that video several weeks back talking about, about that. And this is another good example of it. Play action. Going right down the field. They got six seconds. We're going to call a timeout. And they're going to go. Ooh. I mean, I can go all out like this. This is going to be interesting. We'll see what happens here. I assume they're going to try to go deep. I don't know what they're going to do here. Not with that formation unless they got a deep. That's good defense. One second. Well, that stinks. You get hurt practically on the last play of the game. We'll just call the same thing. I'll back up. Again, I don't know if they're going to get to the end zone. No, they're not even going to. Okay. That's a good game, 49 to 25. Kudos to Buffalo. I mean, they kept it somewhat interesting, but their defense just could not stop us to save their life. So let's look at some stats. And we will go to stats and scores. Wow, look at that. They ended up having almost 500 yards of offense. Look at, oh, wow, I was not expecting. They had 376 yards. I knew that was going to be over 300, but I didn't know it was going to be on the high end. Both teams just threw the ball all over the lot. Looking at our stuff here, let's see. Look at their third down. See, this is another reason why I like 06 a little bit better than the other later games, like 07. The CPU just does a better job against me. Now, I know some of that stuff was in the second half. I get that, but still. 
If they didn't have the turnovers, this thing would have been a high-scoring close affair. But thankfully, they had a couple bad plays in the first half, and we took advantage of them. I do want to go to individual stats. Gronk, 31 of 44, 422 yards, five touchdowns, no picks. He's getting close where he can almost be considered for the Heisman. I know it's not going to happen. We're too late for that. But Washington, it just worked out that he got the ball a lot today. First game back, that's really cool. That's a good little storyline. 250 yards, 14 receptions, three touchdowns. Just had a great day. I want to look at the defense, see who stood out. Looks like Ingram, defensive end, had the best day. Had the most tackles, tackles for loss. He had the one sack. And we had three different guys get interceptions, Bryant, Moss, and Kamaka. So our secondary looked like they'd done a good job, but we gave up a lot of passing yards too, so it's neither here nor there. Box score. It's the first half that told the entire story. Second half, it was even because... You know, they just kudos to them. Their first string stayed out there, and we kept our second string in there the fourth quarter. But it was the first half that tells the story. We just put up way too many points for them, and they couldn't keep up. Let's get out of here. And we have Georgia Tech, number four team in the country. That's going to be interesting. I don't know if we can pull off the upset, but we're going to try. And they're going to advance the week. We'll let it do that. While it's doing that, for those of you who are still around, I'm going to go ahead and look at some recruiting. One thing we can also look at is, again, Fresno State. We can go over to... Oh, that's cool. Tennessee, whoever number 17 is, he looks like a beast. Cool to see him on the cover. I want to go to conference standings. And, yeah, Fresno State. Kudos to them. They won the conference. That's my fault. Just didn't play well in that game. I mean, it was a goofy ending. We all kind of know that. But that's unfinished business for us. It's almost like it's almost okay if we come back and try to win the conference. But we still may get invited. We'll just see what happens there. But what I wanted to go look for, or look at, was the recruiting. And we're down to these two guys. McCoy is finally ready to take a visit. I think we got a good chance of getting him, but it's going to be the bye week. And this guy still can't make up his mind. But we're at the top of the list. So, I, you know, what do you do? I almost want to just dump him and just put all my points in McCoy. Because a defensive tackle, we need a lot of help. That's why I don't want to do that. And I know we need help at center as well. Thankfully, we're going to a 3-4, and that's not going to be that big of a deal. Don't we have just a few defensive tackles, but still. Okay, come on back in our next Dynasty video. We will take on number four, Georgia Tech. They're winning seven in a row. They're having a killer season. Look at their stat line. Incredible. They're not bad at anything. Their worst stat is their passing attack, and it's 60th in the country, right in the middle of the pack. They're killer on turnovers. Their defense looks astounding. And I think they run like a pro-style offense, more or less. We'll just see what talent they have, but they got more talent than we do. Should be a whole lot of fun, a good top 25 battle, and I can't wait. So come on back. We'll take on the Yellow Jackets, and I'll talk to you later.